Hi, my name is Mark Dotson. I teach marketing analytics, and I'm excited to help you get started with text analysis in R. For this course, I assume you are familiar with the essential verbs or functions from dplyr and ggplot2. We will be covering wrangling text, visualizations, sentiment analysis, and topic modeling. Some of those might sound like advanced topics, but you're not as far from mastering them as you might expect. There's never been a better time to learn data analysis in R, including text analysis. dplyr and ggplot2 are part of the tidyverse, a collection of packages that follow the same principles and are designed to work well together. While there are other ways to approach data analysis in R, the tidyverse is incredibly powerful and approachable and is largely the reason why it's such a great time to learn R. In this course, we will be analyzing text using the tidyverse and related packages. To start using the tidyverse, you first need to load its packages using the library function. Instead of loading each package separately, you can load the core collection of tidyverse packages using library tidyverse. A list of the packages that are loaded and ready to use is printed for us. Here you can see dplyr and ggplot2 along with a number of other packages. One of the packages we loaded was a read R. We can use the read CSV function to import data into R. Here we read in a comma separated value or CSV file and assign it to review data. If you print out review data, you can see in the first line that the data is stored as a tibble, which is a type of data frame used by the tidyverse and related packages. You can see that there are 1,833 rows. You can also see that there are four columns, the date the review is written, the product being reviewed, the star rating each reviewer gave the product, and the review itself. Let's compute the average star rating for one of the products. To do this, we first pipe review data into the filter verb. We use the double equals to tell R we want this to be a comparison and put quotes around the name of the product that we want to keep reviews for. In this case, we only want the rows where the product column is equal to the 650 Roomba model. We then pipe this filter data frame into the summarize verb and call the mean function on the stars column and assign it to a new column called stars mean using a single equal sign. This creates a new data frame composed of a single row and column with the average star rating for the 650 Roomba model. We could repeat this process to compute the average star rating for other products, or we can just use the group by function in place of filter. Here we use group by to specify which column defines the groups and pipe this into summarize. The average star rating for the two products is nearly identical. We might naively try to similarly summarize the review column with a mean and get an error. Text is data like the star rating, but it's currently unstructured. We'll need to add structure before we can analyze it. These dplyr functions will be essential moving forward. Let's solidify this review with some practice.